I'd call it lights out. I think it's I think into November and ultimately it won't even matter whether it's a, a top two Republican race or one Republican and one Democrat. I think this probably locks it up for, for one candidate. That one candidate, Vince Fong, a Republican running to replace Kevin McCarthy in the 20th Congressional District. Viewed as a top-tier GOP candidate alongside Tulare Sheriff Mike Boudreaux, Fong endorsed Trump for 2024 early on. Per California Secretary of State, Trump won Kern County with nearly 54% of the votes in 2020. Does a Trump endorsement automatically make up the minds of some voters? It matters, and for some voters, it's the only thing that matters. Um, they take their direction from former President Trump. Trump, in a Truth Social post Tuesday morning, saying in part, quote, Vince was one of only six Republicans in the state assembly to stand with me and reject the second impeachment hoax, and that he gives Fong his complete and total endorsement. Fong responding in part, quote, we are ready to once again have leaders in D.C. like President Trump that will fight for our interests and values. I don't think there's another endorsement even close to it in this particular district that matters as much as the former president. Central Valley political strategist Tal Eslick says with the core group of Trump Republicans and deeply red CD20, Trump's endorsement could consolidate GOP votes behind Fong. Kern County Republicans saw party division just last week as Sheriff Donnie Youngblood and State Senator Shannon Grove endorsed Boudreaux over Kern's own Vince Fong. The not-to-be-forgotten name here, Kevin McCarthy, the first to endorse Fong. Because of Fong's close ties to McCarthy, there was doubt Trump would become part of this race, given the recent lack of clarity on how closely aligned with Trump McCarthy was. So again, it's safe to say McCarthy probably had some significant influence in this endorsement. I would assume that he did because I can't imagine a scenario where he did not. In a statement to 17 News, the Boudreaux camp saying, quote, Sheriff Boudreaux remains a steadfast supporter of President Trump and looks forward to working with him when he wins his seat in Congress. Now, this all remains to be seen. Primary Election Day, March 5th, now exactly two weeks away. Jenny Hutt, 17 News.